your bike light orders are going out to you, dropping them off. Sexy Canna, just part of my manners. Girl, how you shake it? Hello, my beautiful people. I just dropped off your Clyde packages. Um, we are dropping orders off really, really consistently, really quickly now, by the way. Well, first of all, hello. I'm having a wonderful day, um, but I figured I'd address what I'm doing at the current moment. It's like 92 degrees right now. It's so warm. So there's like a jujitsu academy and so many people are walking in here right now and I'm just a little bit like it's I don't know what happened. It's interesting. Um, but yeah, we're doing we're going really quickly. Thank you guys so much for the support. And this is the protection necklace that we launched, where a portion of the profits go to the Loveland Foundation. Of course, our guardian angel necklace. We are so excited about your order. Like I said, we are shipping them consistently. And I'm yeah, I just like I love packaging your orders. And like when I package them, I like to put a little bit of love into them. So hopefully, you can feel that. Um, this company is really cool and sent me some like these like daily use face masks i probably am just i mean it's probably not sanitary but i would probably just use this like for like a week i don't know maybe i'm just gross like do you ever just do you ever like think about things that you do and you're like am i just like am i chill or am i gross <laughs> certain things but i'll put the name down below it's on spots where they just sent me some masks and i figured that's so nice because i have the big mask my mom got it got it um it's like the k95 or the n95 i don't know it's like a big one and it's kind of really hard to breathe in it when i was at the farmer's market on Sunday it was so warm I could barely breathe but this is honestly quite and the fact that I'm doing like a face mask review I really don't stand you guys know my spiritual personal opinions on the mask thing but obviously we're, you have to wear them in certain places I mean honestly like it's quite aesthetically pleasing very easy to breathe through will it actually do anything probably not but I if you like I said I, I pandemic so I'm fine um, I mean, I'm, I do acknowledge that, like I said in my spiritual video, if you want to hear my opinion on that, just watch my video on you know what, and I also made a video of what, what's happening in 2020, I'm not going to go in depth here. Uh, I'm going to go grab a coffee, even though I told myself no coffee after 12, I just want to get one, I just had to do a bit of work. I worked out this morning and I filmed my entire workout, which is like my full body sculpt workout, I filmed like, it as a follow along, so like you can put it on and like do it with me for the 45 minutes or however long it is, um, I edited a vlog for today. So that, I'm gonna have to put that up when I get home. I've just been working, but I didn't get a chance to do it then, so I'm just gonna grab that. I'm gonna support, like I said, my local coffee shop that I like, love, and I just, the two owners, there's a couple were there yesterday, and it just makes me happy seeing them, and I hope it makes them happy seeing me, that I'm like, I'm here for you guys. I'm here to, you know, support them. And yeah, um, what else do we say? I'm wearing the, I'm wearing By Clyde Prosperity. I took it out of this ear when I was doing my makeup because I was like, okay, I'm gonna take out earrings and not wear earrings for a day just to let my ears kind of rest. Um, even though these are for I believe 14 or 18 karat gold plated but I just wanted to like just have no ears sometimes I do that and then I forgot to put this one back and so now I only have one on my ear this man next to me is watching me vlog it's very uncomfortable like he's just so like I have to put it on my phone it's like okay it's 2020 we need you know just a light worker in her element well not really in my element right now because I'm not doing energy work but um yeah so again really really great we are so happy about these two launches. Like, also, this one comes on the website with an affirmation that you can do in the Guardian Angel. One is kind of like I've said, it's just like a tool or a way to set an intention to connect with your angels if that's something that resonates with you. Um, my top is literally just a sports bra. It's actually Calvin Klein Kids. I got an Amazon two pack. I'll link it down below. Great deal. I was like, why would I get an adult version when I can just get a two children's pack in a size large? Or not children, kids. You know? So. Oh my gosh, these two. Men are like, they're, they're, they're seeing each other for the first time in a long time, and they're like really, really excited. Okay, I'm gonna go, we're gonna get coffee, and then when I get home, we're gonna put up a video. I'm gonna actually do, I haven't, I haven't like done my hair in so long. Like, I've literally just been, I just wash it and then I air dry slash blow dry it. I haven't like done it up to make it look like nice in so long, or like I did it once last week, I think. And so today, I'm actually gonna try to like, curl my hair and everything like that and get some, I'm gonna make a bowl. I'm also filming of what I eat eat in a day i've been like on a filming kick so on this channel and on my other channel so i suggest that if you want extra content especially if you want a more spiritual deeper kind of metaphysical wellness um ascension manifestation kind of content or like content of what's going on in the world and my take on it as intuitive and things of that sort things of that nature um things of that sort then you can check that out 
For crystal bracelets, I'm wearing rose quartz rhodochrosite, blue lace agate, morganite. Right now, it's important to wear a lot of rose quartz or love-based bracelets in order to keep your vibration high because they're pumping out a lot of fear-based energies being circulated. And so it's the polar opposite of fear, love, right? And so the same way when on a color, when you want to block out a color, you look on the color wheel and you get the, the opposite. So here I have um, moonstone, I believe this is, yeah, peach moonstone, moonstone, regular moonstone with a rhodochrosite um, butterfly. Um, this is pink agate. Or not, what is this? More, it's kyanite or pink agate or pink opal. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's pink opal. And then this is rose quartz of garnet. This might be pink opal. It's another one. There's this a really, really nice one. I forgot what it's called, but yeah, they're also, they're handmade by my mom and charged with Reiki energy. So those are that resonates with you. I, had, I feel like I had to put that out for people who ask me about my crystal bracelets a lot. Let's go get a coffee, my lovely, lovely friend. Hey, shawty. It's your birthday. We won't party like it's your birthday. Okay. So, I got a coffee. Just got a black coffee with almond milk. I'm trying, basically, it's really weird because I, part of me is like, just don't drink coffee at all during the week. Save it as a treat for the weekends because I am naturally, like, okay, in... Honestly, I'm just like done holding back. I'm just gonna say what I know on this channel. It's a bit more casual because it's a vlog style on my main channel. I'm discussing topics are a bit more like a serious at times. But like, if you're, you know, if you're healthy and healthy is such a vague word, right? Vague word, right? Like, what does healthy mean? And it goes into so many things in terms of like gut health and nutrition and sleep. Health is like all around health. It's emotional, physical, spiritual, energetic. Like that is health. True health comes when all those are balanced. That is a lot of work and it requires healing, right? But if you're healthy, you're eating well, you're getting, you know, physical exercise in whatever form. It doesn't need to be taking intense classes. It can be going for a daily walk or doing yoga at home, right? Whatever it looks like for you and you're sleeping well you should have energy to make it through the day and you shouldn't need it to rely on caffeine and for me i do think caffeine is addictive i don't know if it's addictive because it's like a placebo effect because we tell ourselves it's addictive or it's actually addictive in the body but like for me i'm a gemini okay i'm naturally like effervescent and bubbly and i have a lot of energy for most for, throughout the day until the evening and for me i've noticed and even through doing kind of like numerology work it's really important for me a to work out every day because i need to release the access energy i have because it allows me to feel grounded otherwise that translates for me into things like anxiety or just feeling like almost claustrophobic or like it can get easily irritated or angry because I have this over because my body has so much energy and I feel so, so much energy is flowing through that I need to release some ac access almost like tension or like you know when people when people they pour a beer and they scrape the top of the bubbles like me working out is scraping and my doing meditation is like scrape or mostly working out meditating for me is centering myself but it's like scraping off the bubbles right and so and then I have enough energy throughout the day truly until the evening when I'm tired and I really don't get tired until kind of late which is actually why I want to start waking up even earlier even though I know technically like you know I wake up early already but I wanted to wake up about an hour earlier and I don't want to say the time because I don't want people to be like oh my gosh I'm sleeping too late or I'm this is too early or whatever it is basically I want to wake up an hour wake up early but I'd like to wake up an hour earlier because I feel like I would get tired an hour earlier um, whereas I, I get tired really late in the evening and I have energy pretty much until late in the evening so I really don't need caffeine but I genuinely enjoy so much of the process I genuinely like the taste of coffee I have since I was little um, I love going to the, I love the experience of going to my local coffee shop where I know the owners and the people who, a good majority of the people who work there are good amount of the people i would say a good majority yeah a good amount of the people majority that work there so i intuitively feel that the word that, that's like more accurate and yeah and i just like love that whole process but it does give me a little bit extra and sometimes it's hard for me to fall asleep so i, we, I used to just not drink it during the week and only have it as a treat on the weekend but you see what happens and i think i'm gonna try to really stick to that this could be my last cup of enjoy not i don't think call it enjoy but i'm gonna stick to that after today this is kind of my um last hurrah i guess we could say with the coffee and then i'll just enjoy it as a treat on the weekends and then yeah mm -mm -mm. and i'll share my drink of choice my coffee drink of choice on the weekends when it's like my fun coffee my you know what i mean my like this is just a black coffee with almond milk but on the weekends my fun coffee i'll share in my instagram stories so yeah that's that i it, it's nice because I, I, I just have, sometimes have so much to say and I'm I like I enjoy having 
being able to vlog on here and kind of just chat and I enjoy also talking about very serious life things about how we are literally in the middle of a heat and time, um, like a great awakening revolution and how there's like the things that are happening or it's like the craziest things are happening on the planet and I talk about that a lot on my podcast and on my main channel but I also enjoy kind of for like you someone commented like for you guys just to have something nice light and kind of fun to watch that hopefully can still bring value inspiration clarity and a bit of joy into your everyday life so let's have our, we're gonna have our coffee now we're gonna drive home and I'm to um, put up a vlog and I'm gonna film continue filming what I eat a day when I make my bowl and then I actually am gonna get ready I'm gonna go for a hike this evening I know it's really hot, it's like 93 degrees, but I'm feeling it. I feel like I just want to go in nature, I want to be outside, I want to be in the sun. And by that time it'll cool down and I feel like it'll be like the perfect temperature when I'm done with the hike. Um, yeah. Okay guys, I also want to include in this vlog, do a quick PR unboxing of some really exciting things and cool brands that I want to share with you guys. So first, it's actually really interesting, this brand Bella and Canvas. I guess they normally used to make t-shirts, right? I think that's what they said. And now they're making these face masks and they're daily cover, like daily faces that you can just use and throw away. Um, and they're really, really nice. They sent me three packs. I already unboxed a pack and I took some out and I gave some away so it's they're 52 percent cotton they have 48 percent polyester they're really really comfortable on your skin and they're nice because you can throw them away i noticed my skin was breaking out like on my chin when i was using my like normal mask this came in perfect timing so if you haven't picked up any mask or you're having the same issue i suggest you check them out this isn't sponsored uh, at all they just sent them to me and i'm really grateful these are these are it's a 10 pack of black ones and then there's another 10 pack of black ones they're just kind of in a different color things um so oh, this is this is dual compacted sweatshirt like fabric and then this is um single knit structure so these are thinner um they're thinner around your face and then these i guess are a little bit more thick but like they said they're daily and you could throw them away but to be honest maybe it's just me like i would probably still use them <laughs> like i feel like i would still i feel bad just throwing it away i know i know they're technically to be describable i've already opened one so they're just like a nice they're like literally like a t-shirt material but in a face mask but I guess, like, for me, I would just feel guilty just using it once and throwing it away, even though it is daily. So I would probably use them, like, a few times, like, maybe three or so times. So a 10-pack would last you a month. So this is really cool. The next thing is It Cosmetics um, launched their Your Skin But Better setting spray. I already took it out. I haven't used it yet, but it's really interesting because I've been using their CC cream, I want to say, for, like, the past few weeks and I've been really liking it because it's all, literally the coverage of like a foundation I would say like obviously a light to medium foundation but it's really nice on your skin I, I have oily skin so I'm not gonna lie it does get oily on me so I have to touch it up every few hours or you just kind of have to like not care I guess I used to like care before if my skin looked oily and I always had powder on me and I never wanted to look oily I don't know if it's just like as you ascend or I don't know what it is I just like stopped caring I'm like whatever if I'm oily and I like I'm oily like I literally just I don't know what it is uh, but if you have dry skin this is like a miracle worker I've heard because it's really hydrating so it'll make your skin look glowy all night long I have oily skin so for me it looks really good it just gets oily quicker they do have a matte one so if you have oily skin I recommend the matte one but I had one of these or a few of these in the medium so I started using it I'm like almost out of it and they sent me this package like right in time because they're promoting their new setting spray which is a skin setting spray but it has hyaluronic acid in it it has coconut water in it and aloe vera extract I believe they make all their products with like in collaboration with um plastic surgeons so their products are not only like good in general in terms of like quality but they're actually good for your skin and that's kind of what they preach um it's available at cosmetics.com in store and online at ulta beauty sephora macy's in april 2020 so I'll let you know. It's supposed to be up to 16 hour makeup wear. It's supposed to be a perfect balance of wear and care. It's ultra mattifying. Extends the wear of makeup for up to 16 hours. Revitalizes hydrated skin. You can use it to prep your skin. You can use it to set, to set your makeup and throughout the day. And it says pair it with your skin but better CC cream. So honestly for the summer I really do suggest. This isn't sponsored like I said at all. Like they don't even know if I'm going to show it or share. Obviously they probably hope you know I'll share it on Instagram or YouTube. But genuinely like I really have loved it. Cosmetics for years have been watching me. Like I've loved them for years. And I really do suggest this product also has spf 50 in it already i mean i'm sure you probably should wear another sunscreen estheticians would say but it's just nice that it's really it feels nice on your skin it looks good i supposed to have an anti-aging serum in it and it has spf so for the summer this is a really good option derma e sent me a package which is so crazy because i discovered derma e myself at whole foods i bought products from them and i love them because they're very clean they're vegan they're cruelty free and they're just very clean products they're skincare and they just came out with a hair care line i don't think that they've had a hair care line 
before. Maybe I'm wrong, but I think this is new. Um, and so it says, honest, natural, hair care, clean, effective formulas, enriched with plant-based ingredients, vitamins, and wholesome protein, sulfate, and paraben, pre-safe for color-treated hair. So, a little, little pamphlet about it. Um, so there is a nourishing shampoo, a restoring shampoo, a scalp relief shampoo, and a thickening shampoo. It says, the Hydarma E hair care line is effective nature-based treatments. I would recommend to those seeking natural and affordable options yeah the also thing is derma e like their stuff is so reasonably priced like it's all of it's like i'm, I'm i don't say all but i want to like i think it is all but it's i it's always cruelty free it's vegan yeah at least i'm pretty sure most of i want to say all but i don't want to be mistaken but most of their products are good amount of their products are vegan gmo cruelty free so they're really ethical company but at the same time they're not super pricey a lot of the times you find these brands who are you know sulfate free paraben free and really clean and organic but then they're re really high price points these are really good price points even their skincare like i literally discovered them myself at whole foods um, they sent me the scalp relief conditioner and scalp relief shampoo, which I'm really excited because I feel like I've had a lot of buildup in my hair, honestly, recently. And this is a thickening shampoo for thinning hair. And this is a therapeutic mint and herbal blend from oh. Fanola, which is a really wonderful hair care line. If, you, if you're blonde, you probably already know about this hair care line because they're really famous for their purple the shampoo. Their purple shampoo is almost like a miracle worker. Like, if you have brass in your hair, it makes it ashy really quick. But they sent me a package in the past. They sent me another one. It's so cute. They put a Polaroid of me in there. And the other one had a Polaroid as well. I wrote a really nice note. Hi, Plainy. Here are some goodies for you to enjoy. And keep your hair on point, stay safe, and enjoy baby. Love, Lana. So sweet. Thank you, Lana. Their products are really amazing quality. I mean, it's a pretty popular brand if you're into hair products. And if you're not, then you're welcome into the world because our products are amazing. Um, it's made in Italy. This is their volume shampoo. This is their... They're really, they, I think they, I want to say they blew up for their, like, blonde products, because their blonde products are, like, amazing. Like, you could probably ask any hairstyles, or a majority of hairstyles would know what Fanola is. But this is their No Yellow Care Foam Conditioner. This is vegan. So, it's a foam conditioner, like a mousse, to also help with brass. It's going to be a nice option if you don't want to use a purple shampoo. Which can be, so sometimes it can be intense. You have to be careful to not leave it on for too long, because it can turn, like, lavender, as you know. This is a volume up spray so you spray it at your roots i think when you blow up probably before you blow dry to get more volume in your hair they're like amazing quality products like i really do suggest look at this tub this is a face mask this is their nutri care restructuring mask i like to do a hair mask sorry i said face mask hair mask also it's really good because if you're blonde obviously if you're blonde you probably have more bleach on your hair and so you know it's instead of depositing color you're lifting color so it's really good to do masks obviously to nourish your hair so i'm really excited to try this one out i was using one from amika and i'm running low so i'm excited to try this one out and do maybe like once a week or so and it's really crazy because i've been wanting a pomade this is their flex pomade it's a texturizing paste with flexible hold because i want to try that slick back look like you know when you have straight hair or curled hair or whatever or like a ponytail or a bun but it's like very slicked back i want to try that look soon and i also want to just like sometimes i have baby hairs in the front just slick the baby hairs down i like my hair in the front slicked and put behind my ears i've always kind of liked that or in the little past little bit so <laughs> this is a really funny saying it says fanola is my favorite app for it so yeah i just want to share these cool pet products because they're really cool brands and things that think it would be exciting for me and you to discover and you know take a look at and see if it resonates and you want to grab something as well because for me I love Derma E, I love the cosmetics and Fanola is just so great and this was a really cool exciting package with the face mask. I'm really excited to wear this. So this is what I wore yesterday and what I wore today actually when I grabbed coffee. But yeah, I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching this vlog. If you're new, be sure to subscribe and hit the post notification bell. If you want more content for spirituality and wellness, be sure to also go look at my second channel, Paulina Bear Go. I'll have it linked down below. And I will see you guys on my website for other resources, guides, and one-on-one -on -one coaching with me as well as on my Instagram. Bye, guys. I love you.